this video I'm going to show you how to create a download page. I'm using NView for this demonstration. NView is a free HTML editor which you can download from this website here. And the first thing I'm going to do on this download page is create a table to keep all the contents of the download page in. And the reason I'm going to do that is because if I set it at a fixed width, it means that this web page will look exactly the same on every browser and every screen resolution. So it just keeps it looking a bit neater. So come here to table and click on the icon. And I only need one cell in this. So I'm just going to click here and there we go it's set up. Now I need to change the attributes so click once inside the table come up here to table and then table properties and you can see here it's got one row and one column and I don't really want it that wide so I'm going to make this let's make it 600 pixels and I want the table alignment to be center and I'm going to let the background color show through from the uh, main page I'm not going to have a different color for that and I'll have a slight border just to keep it looking neat so I'll have a border of one pixel and click on apply and then click OK and you can see here we now have our table inside the uh, website. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is save it and the reason I'm going to save it at such an early stage is because when I put in the images and the links I want them to be relative to the web page so by saving it I can make sure that everything is in the same directory on my hard drive and it makes it easier to upload it all to the same directory on my web server. So I click on the icon here to save and it's prompting me for a title so let's give it a title let's say thank you for your order and then click on OK you get this pop-up window and I'm going to save it in this folder here website it'll automatically call it the same file name as the title I don't want that I'm going to rename it. Now you need to make sure that it's difficult for anybody who might be going to hack into your website to find your download page. I'll talk a bit more about this a bit later on but be imaginative in what you name this page. Don't just simply call it download.html or thankyou.html because that's just asking for trouble. It'll make it very easy for hackers to find your website find your download page and then steal your product. So what I usually do is just give it a random name, a random collection of letters and numbers. So we just do that. And that makes it very difficult for somebody to hack into it and find my download page. Okay, and click on save. Right, now we need to start filling in the content for our download page. If you sell a product and you're using a third-party credit card processor, it's a good idea to fill in some information about what's going to show up in your customer's credit card statement so they don't think, oh, hang on a minute, I don't recognize this charge and get onto the credit card company and complain and they'll have that as a charge back and that'll count against you. If you're selling a ClickBank product they absolutely require you to have this. So let's just enter some information in about that. And there we go, that's put in now. Next thing obviously is you want people to know what it is that they've bought so I find the best way of doing that is to have a picture of what it is that they've just bought so let's enter a graphic in here now so click here where it says image and then we want to choose the file that we're going to import and you can see it's an ebook that I'm going to sell here and I've got the cover graphic here which says fantastic cover dot jpeg or fantastic cover dot jpg so click on that 
and then click on open and you can see this little box here is automatically checked that says that the URL is relative to the page location that way you don't have to put in a great big long URL we want some alternate text just in case it doesn't load up into the customers web browser properly so let's say this is an ebook cover you can also do an advanced edit by clicking on here you can show we want the uh, height and width and so on and the HTML attributes if you're going to have a link to it you can put it in here as well I don't want that in this particular case so just click on OK and then click on OK again you can see here it's now showing the ebook I actually want it in the middle so I'm going to click on it there and then have it align center uh, you can also go into the source code and put in a center tag above and below if you want okay now let's just put some spaces in now you need to have the link so that the person can download your product so we're going to put that in here and I'm going to put in the instructions so right click here and I'm going to make that quite large so people don't ignore it so I'm now going to increase the font size so I'm going to click a couple of times there and then I'm going to link to the product which is a zip file so click here on link and again choose file and we want to have all files and this is the one that I'm going to download fantastic ebook.zip or what I want the customer to download so click on that and click on open and none of this applies so we'll just ignore all this and click on OK and there you go there is the download link now if you are selling a product which is going to require some extra software for your customer to use it it makes sense to include a link to where you can download that uh, particular piece of software now there are two pieces of software that the customer of this product is going to need one is zip to unzip the file and the other is Adobe Acrobat Reader to access the PDF file that's inside so I'll put in a couple of links to those now I'm going to insert the link where people can download zip from similar procedure I'm going to click on the link tab and I'm going to enter the complete URL into here now then you want to have the target where the link is going to be open. I'm going to click this one so that it will open the link in a new window and you want to do this if you're going to take people away from your download page so that they don't get lost and then complain that they can't get back to it. So this will open a new window where they can download zip so we'll click on OK and I'm going to do the same thing here for Adobe Acrobat Reader so that's that done final thing you need to do is to have a link to your help desk just in case your customers have problems downloading the file or uh, it doesn't unzip properly or it gets corrupted or something like that so they can get in touch with you easily so again similar thing another link goes in here there we are now that's done so now I need to save it again and now I can just go ahead and make a few changes to the text to make it look a bit neater first thing I'm going to do is change the typeface because I don't really like this one so I'm going to highlight all of that and then I'm going to format font and then I want this one here Helvetica Arial and there we go 
you can see it's changed the uh, the spacing a little bit so I don't want an orphan on there so I'm just going to delete where it says from the link will still work as you can see and then I'm going to put a heading here I'm going to change this and make it the heading so come here to where it says body text click on the little arrow select heading 1 there we go and it says thank you for your order and then I'll save that again now the last thing to do is to stop the search engines from listing this and the simplest way to do this is to edit the source code click here on the source code tab and up here in the head tag area you want to put a meta tag for the robots so we type here left arrow meta space name equals quotes robots close quote space content equals quotes no follow no archive no index close quotes right arrow and then another meta tag which is revisit so meta name equals revisit content equals never and then close the tag and what this is doing is it's telling Google and the other search engine spiders that you don't want this particular page indexed in the Google index you don't want it archived in the Google archive you don't want any links that are on it followed and basically after you've been to this page robot don't come back so there you go and save that as well there are other precautions that you can take to stop your download from being stolen or to stop your download page from being found and hacked into you can upload it into a password protected directory on your website or you could use a third party program like DLGuard to safeguard your download so there we go that's how you create a download page in NVIDIA